Welcome to the Premier EPOS unboxing and installation of the PartnerTech Audrey Till. In the box itself, you get the till, you get the cash draw, printer, power cables, barcode scanner, keyboard, mouse, and the power connection for the till itself. Now the till itself, all the power connections are just underneath this little flap. As you can see, there are two connection points and also a cable tidy system there. Phillips screwdriver, all you need to do is untach the little flaps just underneath with the Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the two screws, and screw one. and screw two. Make sure the panel doesn't just drop off. As you can see now, these are the actual connections. We have a external power port. We have the power for the actual till itself. The cash draw connection. Two LAN ports. Four USB ports two COM ports, one HDMI, external power button, audio, and a VGA connection. This here is for the cable management system. Again, Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the one screw that you see here. Once you pop that off, put that to one side. This section here is for all your cables for a clean management. First one is the power for the actual till itself. Standard kettle lead and power brick. Put the kettle lead into the power brick. You can then plug plug into the mains. The power connection itself has got four pins. It's also coloured green, the same as the actual port on the till itself. Only goes in one way, so don't force it. Yep, flip it round. There we go. Then it's in. Next, we'll try plugging in the printer. Very standard setup again. We have a kettle lead and a power brick as well. Once plugged in, you can plug the plug directly into the mains. End of this port is slightly different. It has three pins. On the back of the printer, as you can see, there's a few ports here. There's the USB connection, the power, internet connection, serial connection, and there's also a cash draw connection there as well. Again, plugs in like so. Again, only goes in one way, so don't force it. This is the USB connection. Two different ends, square end and a rectangular end. You plug the square end into the USB connection like so. Again, only goes in one way. You can now utilize the cable management system by starting to feed the cables through the hole just underneath the spine of the till. Pop it through the hole. And then plug it directly into one of the many USB ports. Any will do, it doesn't matter which one.
Next I'll show you how to assemble the barcode scanner and stand. This is the base, this is the arm, the cradle, place the arm and the cradle next to each other, next to the hole, thread through the screw. It's a fairly big screw, so once it's all in, the cradle's in secure, slot the handle straight into the base. Barcode scanner itself sits on the cradle. And again, the USB connection. Thread that through underneath the till for the cable management. Like so. Again, you can plug this into any USB port. Once again, only goes in one way. You can tally them cables slightly later on. Two extra peripherals that are completely optional as the keyboard and mouse. Again, both USB connections. And again, very similar once again. Underneath the span of the till, Pop through the hole. And again into any USB connection. Again, don't worry about the actual cable management just yet. We can do that a little later on. Next peripheral, again, completely optional, is the mouse. Exactly the same as the keyboard. Thread through the spine of the till, through that hole. And plug into any USB port available. You also need to remember the Ethernet connection as well, so you can actually get internet access on the till generally comes through from your router. Thread that also through with a span of the till. And to be careful to plug it into the actually the correct ethernet connection, which is that one on the far right. Either one of them would do. You've actually got two connections with this till. We'll pop it into LAN one. The cash drawer itself has its own connection. That actually doesn't connect directly to the till. It plugs directly into the printer itself. It looks very sim similar to a internet connection. I can show you where to plug it into now. It's this port right there, on its own. Once all the devices are plugged in, we are pretty much ready now for the cable management part of the video. Once we actually get all the cables all in a nice neat package behind, we can then place the metal casing over. Make sure to leave a little bit of slack. Don't want to take, make those cables too tight. It's fiddly work, but it's certainly worth your while to make a nice, clean workspace. As you can see, we've tidied up the cables, screwed the plate back on, now it's for the under, under plate. Line up the two metal ends, not to be careful to trap any cables or pull them out. This can be a little bit tricky. I would definitely use a magnetic screwdriver for this. Pull the tab down, pop the screw in, and tighten it.
Once the screw is in place, you can put the little plastic tab cover over it for a nice clean aesthetic style. Once the second screw is in, the installation is complete. The on button is just a tiny little green switch. And there you have it, all set up and powered up and ready to be used as a till. Thank you for watching, I do hope this was informative.